What's up, people? I am, uh, I'm gonna do this video for people who don't know how to benefit from the quality of a man's bean. I'm drinking right now some OMS House Blend. What I do, I grind it up and I keep it in this little thing right here. So, I've got a Brazilian decaf all ground up already and I just put it right back in the bag. I don't drink a whole lot of decaf. I've got, this is the espresso, love it to death. This one's not ground up, but that one I keep ground up. I just put it back in the bag. I've got two bags of Colombian, one yet to grind, and one that I drink on occasions. So let me show you my uh, my grinder here. My grinder is pretty badass, but so. You can see it. I'm having a trouble with my camera here. Hold on a second. Right there, that's my grinder. I put all my bean in here, and then here I can turn this to adjust the uh, how fine or how coarse. And then here I determine how many cups I want, and then I hit the button, and it comes out ground up right here. So, but you don't need that. I do that because I'm kind of lazy. I just fill that bucket up and I hit the button and it just grinds. Because I know, I know how coarse I like my, my, uh, my grind. So, now the important part about the grind, when you're finding out and learning how to grind it to your taste, you want it fine enough to where it soaks through. The water soaks, is absorbed and transfers the flavor fast enough to where you're not waiting forever. And you're getting the flavor you want without going too fine. You go too fine, and you're just going to get an enormous amount. You're going to—I call it the Starbucks effect. Starbucks coffee is okay; it really is okay if you buy their bean and make it. The problem I have with Starbucks is if it leaves literal film around the cup, it's either too fine, or you're leaving it sit too long. Okay, that that's that's my that's my problem with Starbucks. Their coffee is okay. So what I have to do is I like it a little finer than medium, or what what my Cuisinart says is medium. Because the coarser it is, either the longer you have to make it sit, or the more you have to use. So you need to find yourself a balance of not taking forever to make a cup of coffee. Because, I mean, seriously, you got, if it takes more than five or six minutes to make a cup of coffee, it's just too long. It, it, it really is too long. But at the same time, you don't want to use all your bean. Because the finer you make it, the more bean you're putting in the same space. Make sense? All right. So with that, we're going to move on to uh, how much I'm going to put in my French press. And it's not that hard. It's like three four tablespoons so let me grab a spoon all you need is a grinder a means to heat up some water and there's I don't have one it's probably the only thing I don't have where you set this thing on top of a coffee mug and you put a little triangle design filter in it and then you just put the coffee in it and you pour hot water into it that's probably the cheapest way you can do it what I like to do I like my French press, and I don't know where it is. Here it is. This is what I use right here. I love this thing. This is I get this, I think, 15 bucks on Amazon, $10 on Amazon. You got to be careful on Amazon, though, because the, uh, the glasses that come with a lot of those are really thin, and you go put your hand in it to wash it, and it breaks in half. I've already broken one. Um, so we're going to use this one today. The other things I can do for the espresso is these right here. 
These things are badass. They're real quick and easy. You fill that up, jam pack it full. Fill that up with water. This is the size that'll fit two. You can make two espresso with it. And then you just put that on the stove, let it go until it percolates through. But you gotta pack that screen, that butt basket, you gotta pack that bitch full. And that will make exactly two of these. These are tiny, these are real espresso cups. But we're not doing that today. So what I do, I use one of these only because it's easy to pour out of. It doesn't whistle. Let me put some water in here. It doesn't whistle. So what I do is I put it on high. I'm gonna do that right now. It's gonna be a few minutes to do all this. I put it on high and I let it get hot. I'll wait a few minutes. You don't want the water to boil. Boil's too hot, you'll burn the bean, okay? I remember somewhere on the internet when I was learning how to do this, somewhere between 140 and 150 degrees tops. That is absolute max. You want it hot enough to where it steams and you're not comfortable putting your finger in it, but you don't want it to boil, okay? So when you do that, while you're waiting for that to go, you want to take this out. This is your French press, okay? That's it right there. Now this is good for one cup. That's it. One coffee cup. Barely one cup. So what I do, because I keep it ground up in here, I take one of these, which is like, it's comparable to a tablespoon. Is it a tablespoon? Yeah, a tablespoon. Whatever. You know, when you buy an espresso machine or you buy a coffee maker or you buy a grinder, or, a lot of these things will come with a free one. I've got, I've got this many plus another one over there. Um, I don't use them all. I, you know, I use them when the other ones are dirty. So what I do, this is an OMS house blend. For one cup, I will take one flat spoon, two flat spoon, three flat spoon, and that's probably going to be good for most people that are used to regular drip coffee or some of the Keurigs. I, I got my Keurig over here. I, I live by my Keurig um, because I wake up early and it's just easier to have a cup of coffee in 15 seconds. Now, you can buy that for the new Keurigs and it works. I put the OMS house blend in that quite often. But... I like to add four smooth right there. So that's four tablespoons basically. So that equals out to be on this one here about that much coffee, okay? Some some days like on a Saturday morning, I'll add like two more tablespoons, maybe one more depending. So I can hear the pot starting to warm up because I've got an electric stove. Fucking sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Shut up. It's my cat. She's over here meowing. Uh, so once you hear that, it's almost there. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I don't know if the mic's picking it up or not. But what you will see, I'll show you. Starting to steam, right? So that's pretty hot. Just about hot enough. You see up here, that's my old drip coffee maker. I, I can't drink it anymore. Any coffee I make on that tastes burnt now. I've, I've been ruined for coffee. Okay, so let's do this. Excuse my uh, dirty ass kitchen. I'm not allowed to touch, I'm not allowed to touch the, uh, the kitchen. This is my wife's domain. I do cooking, but she takes care of it. So, all right. So now this is hot. You see it's steaming, right? It's not boiling, but it's, it's, it's good and hot. Then I take this and I do this right here. I make sure all the bean gets wet. I don't dump it in. So right here, just below the dip. All right. I take this. 
put it in and I take my timer and I put four minutes on it and hit start right there all right so we're gonna sit here for a minute I'm gonna go over a few things while this is being made you don't need this you don't need this you can actually and very simply take a coffee mug that is microwave safe and microwave it the problem with that is is it gets too hot too fast but that's not necessarily a bad thing before I had a pot like that I use this right here this is just a tiny one quart pot it works I put enough water in it to warm it up and then dump it in you just got to be careful don't burn yourself uh, you don't need the type of grinder I have okay I like it because I'm lazy. I like buying cool shit. That's why I have a job, right? That's why we all have a job. Uh, you can get, literally, if you go on Amazon and look, you can get a grinder that is button push. And it'll bar, it'll it'll grind until you put, let, release the button. That's probably the quickest and easiest way for you to learn how you like your bean ground up if you've never drinking or made coffee from, from bean that is, you know, not Folgers, okay? Uh... What else? What else? You can go get the little cup lid thing. I don't even know what the hell it's called. I've never used one. I just have a couple friends that have them. Those are fairly cheap. They're like five bucks. I guarantee you they're under ten dollars and the filters don't cost anything. Why I like a French press is because it actually takes less coffee. Uh, the pour through method takes more coffee uh, and it also takes a little bit more time. Um, now what you can also do what I have is this right here. This is for the espresso. Jam pack that bastard full, lock it in, hit the button, and it pressure out and it steeps through. Uh, but again, that's the espresso, that's not coffee. So it's really up to you. Oh no. All right, so once you get down, it's, it hasn't been four minutes yet, but you don't necessarily, for, for this purposes, I'm not going to wait the full four minutes. When it gets to about 30 seconds, okay, I start pushing, okay? And when I say I start pushing, I start pushing this right here, okay? Because you need to push all that water through that bean, okay? And then I just, I just do it like this. I don't jam it jack through real hard. I put just enough pressure on it to get it through. Now, believe it or not, this actually takes a little bit more pressure than you would think. But then once you get to the bottom, push it down hard, squeeze it all through. You're For the most part, you're good to go. That's it right there. All right. Then you take a coffee cup. Where's my coffee cup? Let's get this one. It's fitting. We're going to get our coffee cup. Now, this is not a carafe, okay? You can buy coffee carafes. I don't bother with them. I just pour it straight out of here. You will get some grinds, though. Look at that color. I know you can see it. It's a little light, only because I didn't let it set for as long. And that filled up to about right here so it's like a normal coffee mug this is a big coffee mug I put three teaspoons of sugar in there mix it up and you're good to go now I've got two coffee two cups of coffee to make that's not what I want that's fucking salt I use kosher salt I'm grabbing the wrong shit well I put three teaspoons in, two and three. Mix that bitch up. And we are set to go. Oh. 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 It's actually stronger than I thought it was going to be. Because I pulled it out, I, I, I pressed it, 
a full minute before what I usually do. So that's it right there. That's how easy this coffee is. For the flavor you get, it, it doesn't make any sense not to use a French press. I've never made it with that because I feel like that it, 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 it deserves better. Um, I have taken the house blend and put it through this right here. Now, I ground it up finer before I put it in here. And this is what I got my mother-in-law with. She was so, she was just ecstatic at the flavor. And I didn't tell her it wasn't espresso. It wasn't espresso. It was just coffee being ground up fine. And that's it. It's that easy. What's your excuse? Why ain't you done it yet? You on Amazon yet? No? Hurry up. You're not you're you're making a mistake if you're not if you're not doing this. It's really that simple. You all you need is hot water, a French press, and a coffee mop, uh, and a grinder of course. But no bullshit. You can pick them up for less than ten bucks. That's how easy coffee is to make. You got any questions? You need some help? Hit a motherfucker up. I'll take I'll take care of you. Be good to each other. Peace.